Hey, what's up? My name is Bailey, and you're watching Erica Vane TV. I will be coming to you every Friday with recaps, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things Grownish. Season 3 has been a whirlwind of emotions, but nothing has been quite as heartbreaking as when Jazz and Doug finally ended their relationship. I'm still grasping on to hope at this point that they will end up together, but nonetheless, let's take a look at their iconic relationship up until this point. They've had a wild ride thus far, so let's recap all the good, the bad, and the ugly. We first get introduced to Doug in Season 1. Jazz and Skye are at the bar when Skye goes up to Doug and asks him, out of the blue, why he doesn't date black girls. That's a kind of weird way to introduce yourself, but okay I guess. This catches him off guard and his response is anything but impressive. The next day he runs into Sky again and answers her question a little bit more thoughtfully this time. But who else happens to be there? None other than Jazz herself, and from this point on sparks are flying between the two of them. And just a few episodes later they make their relationship official. Starting off season 2 they are stronger than ever, posting cute pictures, going on romantic dates, Definitely relationship goals. They've got each other's back no matter what. But it doesn't take long for their relationship to go awry when Jazz starts posting elusive photos of herself on Instagram. Doug is not happy that she's posting her body all over the internet for everyone to see. He even goes as far as to say that it's disrespectful to their relationship for her to be posting thirsty pics on Instagram. Uh, yeah, see, I can't say that I agree with Doug on this one. Jazz and Doug are trying to settle their differences over this whole Instagram situation. That is until Doug gets into a fight with a guy at the bar. The guy asks for a picture with Jazz and non-consensually grabs her ass. Um, not cool, dude. Doug isn't too happy with this situation and tells Jazz that he needs some space. Looks like their first breakup. But the drama doesn't end there. Someone hacked into Jazz's account and deleted her posts, and she's rightfully upset and without thinking she immediately accuses Doug of being behind it all. Turns out Jazz spoke a little too quickly and it was actually her dad who was behind it all. So Jazz musters up the courage to apologize to Doug for accusing him without any information. They both make up and a few weeks later they are back to calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend again. Everything is going well, and they even drop the L word. They keep the cute moments coming, gracing our screens with their seemingly perfect relationship. They cannot get enough of each other. However, their tunnel vision love is ultimately the final nail in the coffin. Turns out, too much of a good thing can actually be a bad thing. Jazz is seeing Doug so often that she is losing focus. She keeps showing up to practice late, her times are worse than they've ever been, and it's driving a wedge between her and Skye's relationship. She tries to make it work, but balancing everything is getting a little too hard and she needs to get her priorities straight. Jazz thinks that the best solution is to quietly put some distance between the both of them. But clearly her plan backfires and they ultimately decide to go on yet another break so that way Jazz can focus on her career. But with all things, this break is quite difficult and messy. They have yet to figure out what lines can be crossed and which ones cannot. Confusion spirals out of control and instead of just taking a six month pause, they decide to end their relationship for good. Jazz then asks Doug to make her one promise and that is that he won't fall in love with anyone for the next six months. And just like that, they're officially over. Is this the end of the road for these two? Hopefully we get some more answers in future episodes to come. I'm definitely hoping there's more to the story. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe so that way you won't miss a video. We post recaps every Friday here on Erica Vane TV. You can also catch our commentary live tweeting and more. So go check out our social media and follow ericavane.com. Also, check out our All American video recaps or our PowerBook 2 video recaps, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.